this is accountability for all. If you haven't subscribed to accountability for all YouTube channel, you should do that. Josh over there does a really good job articulating the articles of freedom to tyrants. And let me just, let me say this real quick. The reason we call out thin blue line badged costume wearing tyrants is because we want to be free and we want our children to be free. We don't want our children to be fighting these battles right now, right here. Patrick Henry said, you know, uh, if war must come, let it come in my time so that my children may have peace. The reason we do what we're doing right here is so our kids don't have to deal with this slime, this muck, so they don't have to get down into the sewage and battle these demons right here. And that's what you got here. So I've, we've got two things I want to take a look at. We're going to look at accountability for all and how he handled these people who completely crossed the line of constitutional freedoms. And Josh basically lets them have it. Look at this mess. Look at this mess. Why, why you this at a car? Because I want to. Mind your own business and shut up. Why am I looking in the car? If I felt like talking to you, I'd be talking to you still, right? Shut up. Well, now you don't want to talk? Now you don't want to talk? I'm sorry, I don't speak pig Latin, bro. My bad. Hey, Kawan, you better stop flashing your light in my face. You better stop flashing your light in my face. You better back off. Oh, what's up? Look at this guy. You, I swear to God, do it. So the guy just points his finger, and he has a camera. He's pointing his finger, and he has a camera in the other hand. And all of a sudden, the guy, the cop, the thin blue line cult member, is automatically grabbing his baton and immediately goes to violence. Immediately goes to ideas of brutality. Just because a guy told him to do something that the cop didn't want to do. Take a step back. Sit down now. No. Don't touch him. Swear to God, do it. Take a step back. Sit down now. No. Don't touch him. Uh, Don't touch him. No. I would suggest you put your hands off him and keep them there. You put that away. Him, sir. Or teeth. Right. What, what's, what's all this about? Step back. Step back. You just approached no, you guys, him with a weapon. Because you guys are on my cruiser. Well, that's a public easement. Are you out of your mind? Get your supervisor and do it now. So you pulled out a baton on him for standing on a public easement? Have you? Are you stuck on stupid today? I love the look on that cop's face because he knows he got caught. He knows he crossed the line. He knows he violated his oath. And whatever justification they try to feed themselves so they can sleep at night and you know, you know, soothe their consciences, he knows that what this, what accountability for all is saying here is right. Look at his face. Watch this. And do it now. Supervisor. Don't you so you pulled out a baton on him for standing on a public easement? Have you? Are you stuck on stupid today? Stupid? I suggest you guys move it along. No, I suggest you shut up. We looked up and we saw you trying to break into one of our cruisers. No, no, you didn't, because the whole thing's on film. Okay. okay and I'll okay. film your cruiser all I want. Now they're gonna lie. Now they're gonna justify why the baton came out for a guy who's standing on a public sidewalk, holding a camera and pointing a finger. That doesn't justify what, the, what that black guy did on a public sidewalk does not justify violence. And now they're going to lie about it. Well, we saw you, uh, you know, just fabricating everything. That's what they do. They fabricate. If they can't deceive and, you know, uh, you know, uh, maybe omit some truths, they'll just, they'll just outright lie. But cameras are everywhere. He's even got a camera. The dash cams are running. There's probably a camera on that fire, uh, fire engine behind him. The, the, the guys on the street have a camera, but they're going to continue to lie. What would they do if they didn't? They really didn't think cameras were going. How bad would they actually be? We got body cams, POV cams, regular glasses. Well, guess what? We're here and you weren't. He pulled out a baton because he filmed. Get your supervisor, Doyle. Get your supervisor, Doyle. You guys fucked up. For what? You guys fucked up. What's the chances you just pulled the baton on one of the biggest civil rights activists in the country? All right, so what are the chances I walked out? 100%. But then what'd you do? You pulled it out, you aimed it at him, which is yeah, assault. Yeah, he came close to me, yes. Which is assault. You came to him. You came to him. It's all on video, dude. Okay, yeah, it is all on video. We're all set. No, you're not. Not until we get your supervisor here. Yeah, then we're all set. I'm a and if those guys, if accountability for all and that other guy didn't have their cameras rolling, you could probably bet you could take it to the bank that these two body cams and the dash cams would be mysteriously erased or it'd be caught up in bureaucratic litigation and red tape. And you'd never see it for two or three years down the road. By that time, these cops probably get another job in another department and some other state. 
because the Thin Blue Line cult will always watch out for its cult members. I'm an independent journalist. Let me help you, okay? I'm right. an independent journalist. I came to cover the fire, the firefighters, whatever was going on. Okay. And you, you walked up on him. What happened when we came out here, right? Fire you called ca- us and said your man was breaking into our car. No, that's we not true. He came up and he's jamming that's not the true. door. What was he doing? He didn't touch it. I got it all on film. Okay, so you want to play it back for us then? And show I us? don't have to. You accusing him of a crime? Is he he's detained? Up, is he detained? No, he's not. He doesn't have then to he's free to go. So you'd have no PC or RAS to believe he's done anything wrong. Yes, we do. We have 100% all of that. Oh, you do? When we came okay. out, No PC or RAS. Probable cause or reasonable articulable suspicion. Articulate. I saw two eyes. He did. He was breaking in the car. Oh, you did. So you were able to see through the fucking vehicle. Yes, when he's oh, leaning over come into on. the car. Come on, dude. <laughs> so, so if you think someone's breaking into your car, you approach him and say, stop shining the camera in our car, and then you pull a baton. You guys are so out of your league. When you get so is this breaking in your car? Is this breaking in your car? I need your supervisor. Is that him? No, it's not my supervisor. Oh, get your supervisor. supervisor. Get your supervisor. Call in. You can call in. Get your supervisor. No. Get your supervisor. No reason to. Get your supervisor. What do you need? Do you want to call a complaint? I want your you supervisor. I'll give you the number right now. I want right? your supervisor. There you go. You get your supervisor. You there you go. Get your supervisor. Call that number. Ask get your for supervisor. A supervisor. Get your supervisor. There you go. Get your supervisor. There you go. Get your supervisor. Okay. Do it now. We need that. We need, we, we need him here. Fire was saying they were trying to jimmy the door over here, trying to. I wonder if that's true. I wonder if the fire department actually said, hey, hey, uh, copper over there, th- that guy's trying to jimmy your door open. I wonder if that's even true. I wonder if there are body cams that the fire department has. I wonder if they can FOIA request all this to find out if this guy's lying about everything. We couldn't exactly tell what he was doing. But they didn't. <laughs> they didn't, because because we got body cams, point of view cams, regular phones. We got people walking. So first of all, what you're trying to do is cover up for the fact that you're an idiot. You pulled a baton on an unarmed citizen. Is what you fucking did. So let's shut up. You're you're all set, guy. Be careful, sir. Just by sitting there, he might use that thing. You be careful, man. <laughs> and then he puts it away. Get your supervisor. Are you getting a supervisor? No, I'm not. Oh, you're not? Who's getting a supervisor? You guys are going to be famous. Hey, get supervisor. Are you the supervisor? Can you get him for me? He's in there. I think he is. I don't know. I well, why don't we find? Why don't we find out? I raised him. I already did. I can't. I can't control uh, wh- wh- What's your name? Mine. Yes. Officer Rosa. Okay, Officer Rosa. What's your name, man? Rosa. I can't hear. I'm sorry. Rosa. 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 Okay. All right. Think about this. You get a maybe you get a call on your scanner. You're an independent journalist. There's a story that develops of public interest. You go out there with your camera because, you know, the news, I don't see any other news crews out there. This is a story of public interest. A fire uh, uh, engine, one of the big, uh, big ones, is calling to town. So maybe the surrounding people want to find out what's going on when they're probably asleep at one, two o'clock in the morning. This cameraman is willing to go out there and do his job. And then the cops have got to stick their nose where it doesn't belong violating rights when everybody knows you're free to film if filming and, and photography is not a crime especially when you're doing uh, doing it on a public right of way not only is it codified in the first amendment freedom of speech freedom of press but it's also codified you know not that we need this but the supreme court has already decided it is not a crime to film in public and they're making this out to be a crime Oh my God. Look at this mess. Look at this mess. Why you look this out of court? Because I want to. Mind your own business and shut up. Why am I looking in the car? If I felt like talking to you, I'd be talking to you still, right? Shut up. What's interesting about this is he's doing what the public servants, the cops do to us all the time. They, they shine a light in your face. 
They're looking in, telling you to uh, roll your window down, wanting to find out who's in the back seat, what's in the back seat. Why don't you pop your trunk? We're going to look around. Oh, you don't want us to, you know, uh, you, we don't have consent to go through your vehicle. We're going to bring the dogs out. But then when you turn the camera on their patrol cruisers that they bought with your tax dollars as public servants trying to d- supposedly serving and protecting you, now they got a problem with that. They don't have a problem with their buddies looking into your car, but they do have a problem with you looking into their car. I'm sorry, I don't speak pig Latin, bro. <laughs> My bad. To, oh, he was breaking in the cruiser. So he has, by the way, he should be a fucking superhero because he's able to see through a fire truck and then through the vehicle to see what he's doing. Because we got four different camera angles on this thing, all right? So what he did is he saw someone filming, thought that he was going to violate his rights, pulled out his baton, acted like an asshole, and now he's going to be fucking famous. And I don't think cops need that right now, do you? You got to learn, man. You gotta... I don't think you guys need that right now. But asking you shall receive. I'm like the Santa Claus that ends qualified immunity. That's who I am. <laughs> Keep that light out of my eye, please. No. Keep Do the light like that, out man. of my eyes. I don't know you and I don't want to. Oh, wow, he's got pretty good moves for someone that was almost just illegally beaten. Pretty cool. Can you do can you do the, the Dougie or the stanky leg? You know how the stanky leg? It's like it's like do the stanky leg. Do the stanky leg. Dude, that leg is way too stanky. You're gonna break an ankle, man. I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward this. Who pays you? Taxpayers, right? Yeah. You know who pays me? Not the taxpayers. I don't know. Where does the IRS go through? Taxpayers or the federal government? Do you even have any any fucking idea the goings on of normal America? I want to talk to you. Okay. We'll so talk. then shut the fuck up. We'll then shut up. We'll then shut up. We'll then shut up. We'll then shut up. We'll okay. So shut up. We'll cool. Awesome. What do you call two cops I playing tug talk. of war? What do you, Rosa? What do you call two cops playing tug of war? Pulled pork. They might have this guy you pick out. It's pretty good. You dress up like a clown too? Or? Did you stop it? Did you correct it? Did you get us a supervisor? So you're guilty by association, right? You know, your qualified immunity is out the door as soon as you don't correct your partner. Alright, man. So fucked. baton made that guy nervous I got a camera it's not as dangerous as a baton don't be nervous don't fear the camera fear the people that watch through my lens at least you left them notes out for us what's up baton rouge baton rouge We weren't being held in the first place. No, you weren't. You were being detained. No, we weren't. The no, we weren't. I was never detained. No, in I fact, weren't. I think this is the guy who said, no, you're not being detained earlier. You can go fuck off. That's a number. Take it detainment. All right. So that is, that is accountability for all. Check him out. I'll leave a link in the description and in the pinned comment. Go give him some love. He does do a really good job and he's got a whole lot of good videos on catalog to take a look at.